Hi, my name's Corinne, and today I'm going to show you how to engrave cable tags. I'm going to show you the difference in between engraving these cable tags with a CO2 laser and a fiber laser. We're going to start with a CO2 laser. Since you can't engrave directly on metal with a CO2 laser, we're going to need the help of a compound spray, such as a Surmark. Today, I'm going to engrave a 1 by 3 inch tag with a quarter inch hole. You can see all the different sizes in the link in the description. So I'm going to lay the tag on a flat surface, take the Surmark spray and shake it for two minutes, and then spray it from a 10 inch distance. So make sure to let it sit for a few minutes. When you spray the cable tag, make sure not to spray it on too thick or else you're going to have to use more power to engrave it properly. After the engraving, we wash off the compound material with some water. Now we're going to do the engraving with the fiber laser. With the fiber laser, you don't need any Surmark spray or marking compound. When you engrave with the fiber laser, you get depth. With the CO2, you get annealing. These tags are great for electricians and mechanics and anyone looking for a permanent label. You can use a zip tie or ball bearings to hang it or tie it on cables and pipes. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and if you have any comments, leave them below.